Multi-million dollar investment by General Motors is allowing 200 people to keep their jobs and they'll soon be making V8 engines. That announcement was made in Spring Hill today. News Channel 5's Jennifer Reyes joins us live. Jennifer, there's a reason GM is increasing the production of small V8 engines. Yeah, the company says that they're simply trying to keep up with demand. They cannot make trucks and SUVs fast enough and soon Spring Hill will be benefiting from that high demand. I'm about through this pack right here, and then you can fill a bit and see what you think. Diane Colley has been working at the ABC Barbershop for over 18 years. Like I said, it's exploding. She says her customers keep her well informed. That's why she really wasn't surprised when we told her about GM's multi million dollar investment. They told me that several months ago, but they kept changing when they was going to do it, and uh, finally they're, they're doing it. General Motors is planning on spending $148 million at their Spring Hill facility to start production of their small block V8 engine found in GMC Sierra and the Cadillac Escalade. This will be the first time this type of engine is produced here. The company plans to repurpose already existing equipment to speed up the rollout date. They also plan to retain some 200 jobs. It's part of uh, uh, GM's confidence in the Spring Hill workforce. Spring Hill's Mayor Rick Graham says having a diversified line of products is more beneficial for the city. This just diversifies our, our market and keeps us, we're not less so dependent on one vehicle if the economy goes up or down. As a sign of support for its workforce, Spring Hill's plans to buy the first Cadillac off the line. It will be a vehicle that we'll be proud of and, and being the first one off the line. Uh, yeah, it's special. Well, it's not been long that they was doing bankrupt, you know. Where's this money coming from? <laughs> Diane says the majority of her customers are excited about the investment. They've been talking about it for weeks. She's hoping to learn more in the weeks to come as new GM employees start making their way to her chair and to the city. And GM plans to start repurposing that equipment as soon as possible. And if all goes well, they'll start rolling out those V8 engines by the fourth quarter. Reporting from Spring Hill, I'm Jennifer Reyes, News Channel 5.